I mean, they're gonna announce London. Watch Dogs, right? This is Watch Dogs? Greatest city in the world. Since it got leaked? Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. Government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out. And freedom's a bloody joke. But this ain't their London. This is our London. And there's a new power growing. It's all of us, together. We're building a resistance, one recruit at a time. What's my favorite operative up to this evening? And no, I never say that to the others. Scouting talent, Bagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah? Rob shot, what no the eyes, fuck? That's the, did, that's the main guy. This looks good. All right, guys, hey, let's not forget what happened to the other Watch Dogs games in terms of E3 presentation versus actual release. Bloody Don't get everywhere. ahead of yourselves. Don't do it. it. I'm just saying, don't do it again. Zones. You're getting ahead of yourself already. You're clear. Sold off. Right, easy. Sold off. Hmm. Impressive skill set. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Posting photos to social media. Concerned about the increased Albion presence in London. It's a total disgrace. Mercenaries patrolling the street. Get the fuck over here. Me? I ain't done nothing. Come on, you shifty prick. Hurry up. Well now. Jimmy Shaw. No formal engineering training, but he has several mischief charges for hijacking Albion drones. Hold still. Fuck you, man. You've got no right. Fuck you, hell. We find our drone expert and he's about to get himself nicked. Fuck this. dead set. Get out of here. Ooh, we got fucked up. Riot drone. Best not to escalate if you don't. Oh, just ignore me. Prepare to be detained. Nah. Not today. Hold. The fuck? To you just turn invisible? You, you, when you get down, you just turn invisible and fucking leave? Bye. Several chase drones are converging on your position. No oh, shit. To tell me about the bloody check God, the driving oh, in this still looks point. like doo doo dude. I never liked any of the driving in, in like any of the Watch Dogs games. It always felt better just to be on foot. Yeah, shot in his ass. He's dead. Permadeath! Oh my god, he perma What dude? You get to have multiple characters now? Look at the fucking old dude. <laughs> he can fucking be the old lady! Lovely evening, isn't it? Ah, uh, I used to feed the birds here. Hello, dude. All bloody machines. Get used to it. In the long march of progress, everything dies eventually. Eventually, even you, Bagley, I'm sure. Now there's my Helen. Speaking of death, you'll never guess what just happened to Ian. Oh, for God's sake, Bagley, a little respect. Then let's finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? Should be handled by the <laughs> Albion's even taken over Scotland Yard. Complicates matters. And there's my way in. Hello, darling. Oh my god, old lady hacker. Time to go. They'll be on to me. What? what, dude? Oh my god. 
They they won't let you play as her through the whole game, surely, right? I think the whole game is Helen. <laughs> what the fuck? The bars you stole indicate that Jimmy's gone to Camden Market. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop chop. Wow. Ready for some action, Naomi? Always. But this recruit better be worth all the trouble. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden Market. Camden Black Market, you mean? Yes, the Kellys are rumored to run all sorts of illicit goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. If he's gone in there alone, he's in big trouble. The Kellys have this place on full lockdown. Hmm, I have an idea. I'll run out of voice actors. I don't know. I mean, it seems like it might be a facade, though, like the amount of characters. It might just all be like a scripted thing. Who knows? You might have like a roster, but it might not be like unlimited. Who knows? That might have been a scripted thing. Who knows? So try not to get killed, or we'll be in the red for the day. Copy that. Huh? What the hell? Is this a meme? This better be a joke, or I'm sad. and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics <laughs> the kellys are moving loads of weapons out of here They're not your typical back alley shanks stables it's human trafficking found jimmy cheeky oh, shit fuck you and here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble So, um, how are you going to get him out of there? Lots of hugs and kisses. Whoa! Oh my god, she's a beast. What the fuck? Bullet time. Oh, never mind. Reinforcements are converging on your position. Damn. On your feet, mate. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Are you dead sick? Hope you're sharper than you look. Jesus Christ. Someone else beat these dead sick pricks. HUD looks fucking gross though, like that, like... That crosshair doesn't look good. That's the rolling help. <sighs> Helen would've fucked him up by now, yeah, yeah. Helen, Helen would've killed everybody, man. We showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think, and that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. He's fucking dead. Because it was scripted that he died. Fuck it. 
He was there all night. Now you get to play as him. Welcome to DedSec, James. Yeah. New okay, playable so operative. Where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DedSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance. I'm anxious to see how far that goes without being limited. Thank you. Thank you. Guess I'm going to make you all wait so long, I should really knock it out of the park, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm Clint Hawking. I'm the creative director of Watch Dogs Legion. And for the past few years, the team and I have had the privilege to work on a game and an innovation that we are very proud <laughs> LNB of. DLC, dude. Watch Dogs Legion is set in London, one of the greatest cities in the world, and it's had a massive influence on all of our culture for centuries. Today, with Brexit, London's at a turning point. It's hard to predict what the future holds for London, for the UK, or for the world. But history has proven, time and again, that where London goes, all of us go together. In our near future, London is facing her downfall. The UK has become a surveillance state, and freedom has been replaced with fear. Armed drones patrol the streets, deportation squads rip people from their homes, and Grandad is using crypto to buy a new kidney on the black market. But Londoners never surrender. Their resilience and determination is an inspiration to us all, and they are the heroes of our mm. game. All of them. In Watch Dogs Legion, your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back against the emergence of an authoritarian regime. This means you don't just play as one hero, but many. And in Watch Dogs Legion, you can recruit and play as anyone. Oh my God. In our game, every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission and win them over to your cause. The heroes you recruit are all unique characters with different backstories and personalities, fully voiced and animated, and they are the stars of your story. Hmm. Every cinematic hmm. in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former MI5 action hero, a 70-year-old granny you saw feeding pigeons in the park, or anyone in between. However you want to play, whoever you want to be, Watch Dogs Legion. 100% Helen playthrough. Want to make a team of classic British spies? When I play no it, problem. You want to be a nothing crew but of Helen, dude. From the block, <laughs> do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, Afro punk, gangster? Awesome. All old people. Yeah, 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 the yeah right there. <laughs> These ladies fucking invented hacking. <laughs> Play as anyone is the innovation that transforms a story about freeing London and the world from the grip of tyranny it's just the old into people. a game about the heroes that live in each of us. Because being a hero isn't just a job for someone else anymore. It's a job for everyone. So on behalf of the Watch Dogs Legion's team here and around the world, I hope to see you on the booth. Thank you for your time, and welcome to the Resistance. What about that release date, my man? What the fuck? What about that release date, you fucker? Ah, London. Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all right. 2020, probably, I bet. Bombings. Or November. And people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So yeah, 
That's all gonna be shit. Is that Jason Statham? It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. And that fella over there? Proper bellend. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at that funny. <laughs> so these are like different classes that you have. There's the old lady. Huh. This had better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the law. She's not old, she's experienced. <laughs> Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. Sunny. <laughs> the fuck? Hello. Mac. My name is Rob McElhenney, and for the past 14 years, I have been making a television show called It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Thank you. But I am here today because I love games, and I wanted to express that love in the only way that I know how save for playing them, and that is to make a TV show about them. More importantly, the people who create those games and the people who play them. So, last year, I called the funniest people that I knew, Charlie Day, Megan Gans, and David Hornsby, all executive producers on Sunny, and we started talking. We realized very early on that if we were going to do this, we wanted to do it right and to be as authentic as possible, because, as you all know, nobody smells bullshit like this particular community. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the right thing, we partnered with Ubisoft, and away we went. It has been an incredible experience working with one of the biggest and best game developers in the world to inspire us, because our show takes place in the fictional studio that created the biggest MMORPG in the world, Mythic Quest. And we meet them this is a TV on the show? cusp of releasing their biggest expansion yet, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. Ubisoft. The show follows the team of devs as they navigate the challenges of running their game while dealing with the difficulties of modern office life. Oh, it's like just, it's like uh, grandma's boy. These people are truly stuck together, yet they <laughs> grind it out day after day for the love of the game. And at the head of that team is my character, creative director, Ian Grimm. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like most creative directors, he's gifted, <laughs> driven, and tirelessly dedicated to his game. And like most of the creative directors that I've met, he looks like he's he straight has out an of ego Seattle, the size dude. of a city bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked backstage because there's a lot of creative directors here. <laughs> Joking aside, it's clear that those creative directors and the thousands of people who work on these games put everything that they can into them. They recognize that they have a tremendous opportunity and responsibility, that they must do everything in their power to ensure that the games are nothing short of the best that they can make, because that is what the community, you, deserve. I promise you that in making this show, we took the same approach. So 
So without further ado, here is a brief look into our upcoming TV series for Apple TV Plus, Mythic Quest, Raven's Banquet. What is Mythic Quest? Some may say it's just a video game. When it first debuted, MQ was hailed as a masterpiece. Now played in 20 different countries on six continents, it's the biggest massive multiplayer role-playing game of all time. And today, they find themselves on the precipice of their first major expansion, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. And it all falls on the shoulders of one man, creative director Ian Grimm. When we think about cultural touchstones, we think E.T., Star Wars, Avatar, and yet our industry dwarfs the traditional entertainment business. <laughs> so when we think about legends, why not think Mythic Quest? True indeed. And when we think of visionary world-building artists, instead of just Spielberg, Lucas, and Cameron, why not think... Grimm? I I'm sorry, I, I gotta stop. What is this? It's a commercial for the game. It's a commercial for you. It's still going. Shh, shh, shh. I think it's brilliant. I thought the other ones would be in it. It's just it's just him. That's not a video game, dude. Hey there, my name is Parker Intero Mackay, esports caster for Rainbow Six Siege. There are so many exciting things to come in year four. In game events, map reworks, playlists. What the updates, fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you advertising for something and of course, after the show? A thriving esports scene. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to enjoy our 13th season. Operation Phantom Sight. This major content what the hell is going brings on? two new operators to Team Rainbow, Nook and Warden. After this show, be sure to stick around for an intense celebrity match starring T-Pain, Little Yachty, and some of your favorite Twitch streamers for the Twitch Rivals Celebrity Show Match. But right now, here's a glimpse of the new season in action. Thank you, everyone, and have a great E3. What the heck, dude? Is that a Jason mask? That's what you get when you take on the Brawl Hall of Master. He's 
things are whack. 1v1 me, bro. For real. Uh, yeah. I'll toast your buns again, sure. Want to choose a different character? Yeah. I choose me. Whoa, they're in the game. Yeah. No way. Growl Jabraic. Oh, my burrito. <laughs> Whoa! It's those guys from the game! What time is it? Adventure time! Love uh. <laughs> that bacon hammer! All I do is win! <laughs> Got him! Go for it, PB! Uh-huh, Princess Bubbles, I'm gonna show you up! Homies help homies! This place has everything. Ah, did somebody order a combo? Yeah! In for brawl. <laughs> 25 million players! Dude, that's almost 25 and a half million. Oh, snap. Look out! Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Bralala? Bralala? No, man. Brawlhalla! Oh. Hey, welcome to Brawlhalla. This game is... What happened to his arm? Why has he got a metal arm? <clears throat> Did I miss some lore? Long story. Okay. Don't fill me in, because I don't care that much. <laughs> Punisher. The only test of a man's worth is battle. When those rounds come screaming past your head, you're gonna learn if you are hungry enough, hungry enough to take that victory. And we're going to battle with the soldiers that we used to be. Ghosts. And you better believe that they are hungry too. Once upon a time, some of these ghosts, they may have been your friends. And there is brotherhood. But then there is what the world needs. These ghosts, they are the past. They still serve the machine that we left behind. And right now, for the future, the world needs us. So many actors and video I'm games. Honored. I'm honored to be here with you tonight. And as you head into battle, with that mean look in your eye, those bad intentions in your mind, <laughs> remember this. You are the few with the courage to make history. You have the desire to take victory. You will be on a battlefield full of ghosts, but only you have that hunger. That hunger that makes you wolves. Why even call it breakpoint? Why not just call it wolves or something? You know? They keep mentioning wolves all the way. Hey, look, What's there he is. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm John. Good to be here. This is Bam Bam the Dog. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's a real honor to be here with you guys today. Thank you. I love you too. Right on. This is awesome. This has been really great and exciting, and uh, I'm really, I'm really honored to be here. Uh, Keanu Reeves didn't I'm, come out uh, with his fucking dog from John proud Wick. To be part of the development of this game, it was a pleasure to work with the Ubisoft team. You know, I've had uh, the chance to play some pretty strong, tough men over the years. I've uh, played a deputy fighting zombies, special, <laughs> special forces soldier who lost everything. And now I get to play Cole D. Walker. He's a skilled former special operations soldier with his own sense of responsibility and his own moral code. He knows how things should be run. He loves his brothers, his fellow soldiers, but he is willing to do whatever it takes to complete his mission and take control of Aroa. 
There is no briefing. There's no backup. You will not face a group of bad guys or a criminal organization. You will face an sleeping. entire army, my army, the wolves. <laughs> Sounds like a no pixel RP name. <laughs> We've got the numbers, we've got the organization, and remember, we trained alongside you, the weaponry of a fully operational special ops detachment. Trust me, there's an unparalleled arsenal of high-tech weapons in Aroa. So if you think you have what it takes, strap on your boots and you get ready to take on the wolves and take on me. See you in Aroa, we'll be waiting. Perfect predators. They have the knowledge of their hunting ground, but we have the element of surprise. I don't even know what the fuck he said, like, in all that. <laughs> Special <laughs> operative, operative, heroa, what? I, I don't know. We have the skills to even the odds. Brothers and sisters. They are hungry, but we are enraged. We are ghosts. And ghosts. Never die. Whoa! I still don't know what the fuck is. I still don't know. I still don't understand this. Like, whatever. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Being a community developer on Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint has been an incredible journey for me so far. When we first announced the game, you were very excited. And after discussions of members of our community, I today announce that with our post-launch plan, we will be bringing back our AI teammates for our solo players. <laughs> I don't want any fucking AI teammates. None! <laughs> with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we want to go the extra mile with how we engage with you. So I'm pleased to announce a brand new community program that will allow you to express and share your passion. Welcome to Ghost Recon Delta Company. <laughs> Is that? Social media platform. From cosplay to streaming, fan art to forum discussions. However, you show your love for Ghost Recon, there is something for you in our five different detachments. With lots of content to support you, as well as direct discussions with our studio. So head over to our Ghost Recon Breakpoint website to find out more and hear from you soon, Delta Ghosts. Thank you very much, everyone. Or just use fucking Twitter or Instagram like everybody else. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> The Ghost Recon team has always taken great pride from your passion for our games. And that passion is what pushes us to deliver the best Spec Ops experience out there. Behind enemy lines, you will be fighting the most Old dangerous Kraken. enemy the Ghosts have ever faced. <laughs> Old Constantly testing your survival skills. 
Yes. <laughs> We can't wait to welcome you in Ghost Recon Breakpoint on October 4th. <laughs> and now one I can't not see that, it, dude. Our beta will be live on September 5th. <laughs> you can register on our <laughs> website right now for a chance to participate. I cannot see it now. Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be live for years to come. We've got your back. <laughs> New content, free updates, and many surprises inspired by our community. <laughs> yes, yes, like this one. Fucking DLC all across you the board. Survive your breakpoint. <laughs> all right. See you all out there. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, I keep yawning, dude. What the fuck? No. What does that say? Fucking mobile, dude. No. No! No! Megan, a dauntless and daring agent. She's all in, all out, always. Oh! Montaigne, oh! counterterrorism and rescue veteran. Oh his my god. This is defense. Oh my god. Nomad, covert special ops team leader, a ghost on the battlefield. Cavera, highly skilled defending operator, lightly armed, massively effective. Sam Fisher, elite covert operative, the <laughs> wolf, now hunts with a pack. When chaos strikes, Rally the specialists. Lead the elite squad. Pre-register now. Just Dance? This is Just Dance. Ten years. Son of a bitch. Ten years. Well, that's a lot of dancing. We're exhausted. I know. But think of everything we've done. It's not for us, or for you, or you. It's for them, the players! We danced. And Sivio and his girlfriend got married. We danced, and our friend Jaden Rodriguez danced for millions, bringing together generations. That's right. We danced. Yeah. And they set world records. Yeah. Do you remember Carrie? Yes. Of course we do, because we were with her. Tonight. Yes. Dance is uh, yeah. why we exist. And I know we're going to have much more of these moments because dance is a force. It's transcendent. Yes. It unites and it shows us who we are. That's why just dance is more than just dance. Yeah. I can say everything, everything the same about Uno. So where the fuck is Uno to?
Sterling. That was me right there. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, dude. What is this, for honor? God is wrong. Hero expansion. Oh shit, dude. A samurai came to deliver justice. But darkness clouded her mind. She slaughtered every living soul. And became the spirit of death. Years later, we hunted the samurai in the village. We didn't believe the old tale. Not until a horror came. Spirits hungered for our souls. Uno two, here we go. Uno two, here we go. Fuck, I don't think it's gonna be Uno two. Uno patient zero. <laughs> I 
could have, I would have never guessed. <laughs> Not even close, dude. <laughs> it's a fucking Rainbow Six mode. What Hi, the fuck? I'm Bio Jad, and I'm the lead game designer <laughs> on the next Rainbow Six game. Wait, that's a, it's a new Rainbow Six game? It's called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Quarantine. I'm part of a new team in Ubisoft Montreal that set out on an exciting new mission. Create a radically redesigned co-op experience built on the foundations of one of the best shooters of this generation. What Siege is to the PvP shooter genre, we will be to PvE co-op. Quarantine will test your tactical skills and survival instincts, holding you and your operators on the razor's edge. It pulls you together as a squad, facing off against an unknown and devastating parasite. You will risk everything every time you step into quarantine. Stay tuned and start prepping for your next deployment. I can't wait to show you more and have a great E3. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's gonna be like a division uh, expansion as well. They just announced all their DLC during E3. Is that a f***ing hunter? Yeah! Oh my god. I'm playing video games! What the f***? <laughs> we will stand united. As creative director at Red Storm Entertainment, there's no greater reward for me or the team than to see our game come to life and to see our players, our star players, taking tremendous pride in being a part of the division. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> now, if you haven't had the opportunity once. to play the division two yet, we would be thrilled to have you join our very passionate community because I'm happy to announce that this week only, between June 13th it's free. and June 16th, The Division 2 will be absolutely 100% free for everyone to play. Already? Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> and there's no better time to join us as we're about to release the first of our major content updates for our year one journey. A journey beyond Washington, D.C. to save not just a city, but an entire nation. That ain't even like, that ain't even a lot of time. You get four days with it for free? Didn't even give you a full week? Episode one, coming in July, right around the corner. We deliver to you new main missions and a brand new game experience. So for the first time, we're taking the fight outside the city, and you'll venture deep into the woodlands to spearhead an attack on a presidential compound as you seek to bring a traitor to justice. The National Zoo is the setting of our next mission, where you and your team will hunt down the surviving outcast leader. And this brings us to our final edition of episode one, 
a place called Kenley College, and it's home to an entirely new gameplay experience. One that will take exploration, investigation, and logic to uncover the fate of a military convoy gone dark. Now, episode two, coming this fall, we will bring to you the Pentagon. Once an impenetrable fortress, it has fallen to the Black Tusks, and its secrets are about to be thrown out into the open. You must do everything it takes to secure what lies behind the walls of this last castle. But this won't be the greatest danger you face in episode two. I'm very excited to tell you that our second raid will be coming this fall, bringing back intense eight-player action. Yeah! Watching you tackle the first raid was awesome, and we cannot wait to see what world records you break this time around. World now, records. This brings us to our third and final episode of year one. What if rebirth was not about bringing the world as we know it back to life, but the opposite? One man holds that power, and humanity itself is at stake. Agents, it's time to engage in a manhunt. What does that mean? New game mode? <laughs> Battle Royale? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is gonna be in this? <laughs> Another actor? Let me try. We had the training. We fought to protect the weak. But training doesn't prepare you to hunt someone you used to call brother. Oh no. He has left us no other choice. If we don't stop him, there will be nothing left to save. What is that? Holy shit, what about that? <laughs> what was that, dude? I don't know what the fuck that was. I can't wait for that. What, is that mean? Okay. what does that mean? I don't know One what that was. Thing. As you might know, we have been working on a movie. Holy shit, what? I don't know what the David fuck Leach, I even just saw. Starring Jessica Chastain and Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, today, I'm proud to announce that we will be making the Division movie with Netflix. More to come on that in the future. Who Thank you very much. Who fucking cares? Thank you. Who fucking cares? I, I, what the fuck? I don't care. I don't care. Who cares? We're making it with Netflix. Okay, great. If it's good, it's good. What the fuck is happening? Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Wow. Hello, everyone. I'm Brenda Panagrosi. I'm vice president of Platform Uno, and Product Uno, Management. Uno, 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 Uno too. Ubisoft has been creating worlds for over 30 years. We have the most diverse library of games, and we're about to make it even easier for you. No, to not them. a goddamn platform! I'm Don't here you to say it. Ubisoft's new subscription service. I hate Tuesday you so much. What is this Plus. shit? What is this shit? No! No, you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get happening? earliest available access to new games, including the premium editions with all their additional oh! content. And you can enjoy the depth <laughs> of our PC catalog <laughs> that includes over 100 games. I don't want and any growing. more subscriptions. I don't want any more subscriptions, please. Please. I just don't. You Play Plus will be $14.99 a month. Go if you fuck sign up yourself. today, we'll enable Go free access yourself. for you in September at launch. No. No. Oh my God. Let me know if you ready. It has a trailer too. If you want it ready, steady. Fight the good fight because this is war. Shit. Man. 
Mr. Plus. So what? Are they gonna pull their games off of uh, the fucking Xbox One or the PlayStation Plus? Say goodbye to Ubisoft games in the fucking Xbox Game Pass and on PlayStation Plus because they just got their own. What the fuck? That's also fifteen dollars a month. Going for greatness, man. Going for greatness, man. Going for greatness. No, dude, don't cheer that. Do not cheer that. Don't cheer that. That's not a good thing for any of us on the consumer side. Are, we want to provide access to our games and services. I'm pleased to announce that in 2020, Uplay Plus will be available on Stadia. Stadia is the new generation gaming platform where you could play our Stadia games from any device. A special thank you to Phil Harrison and his team. This is the beginning of our partnership. Thank you so much. Have fun playing. Have fun paying or like. Uh, uh. Oh shit, dude, roller derby. Future champions, my name is Stefan, and I'm a proud member of the Roller Champions team. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, bring it up. From the get-go, our ambitions with this game were very clear. We wanted to create something new. We wanted to capture the intangible excitement of players preparing for the big game the hype of team play and competition, along with the craziness of high-speed racing. So we started working on Roller Champions, a skill-based team PvP sports game that is as fun to watch as it is to play. A game in which you, the player, can create your own story as you roll up to glory. But right now I know how it looks. We showed you a trailer. And I got on stage starting my little speech. That's all well and good, but when will you ever get to play this? How about today? What? No way! Today? That's right. When we're done here, I want you to head over to Uplay on your PC to download a pre-alpha E3 Fuck. demo of God Roller damn Champions. You play. Play the heck out of it for the next few days. And when you're done, head to the forums to tell us what you thought. And you know what? We firmly believe that you will be screaming as loudly as our colleagues did when they first got to play test it back in Montreal. But I can't just leave you with that. I mean, I hope, I hope so. So here's a taste of what you should expect once you click that download button. Put your skates on, see you in the arena. We'll see about that, buddy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another nail-biting game of Roller Champions! Start the party. Celebrate. I'm sick of nonsense. I want to elevate. Look at him go! Unbelievably fast! I'm on the chain! What a tackle!
looks like Human Rocket League. It's literally roller derby. What the fuck? It, it, it's not Human Rocket League. It, it's literally roller derby. It's, or, that's, it's so already a I thing. I to say thank you to... <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So first I want to say thank you to all the Ubisoft teams around the world for your talent and energy. You know, congratulations for another great show. Thank you. So I believe video games have a positive impact on all of us and the world around us. At Ubisoft, our intention is to create games that will make you stronger and happier in your life. When you play Ubisoft games, we hope you will spend quality time they hate with skate? family and friends and meet is it that new EA? inspiring people. <laughs> Learn more about yourself by doing and gain <laughs> new perspective on the world and help shape it. <laughs> so to everyone who plays <laughs> what is our Ubisoft games, hate <laughs> thank you for your love. What is Ubisoft fucking hate skate? Because it's not their game. <laughs> <laughs> you push us to always do better and go further. <laughs> so now I'm very proud to announce a new project from an exceptional team in Quebec City. Please give a warm applaud to Marc Alessi Cote, who is coming to show you a sneak peek of his game. Thank you. What the hell was that? Hello, everybody. Over the last 10 years, I've had the chance to be part of an incredible team that has always pushed the limits of Assassin's Creed and shown us different periods of our past. But our imagination has always been bound to the reality of the history books. These past four years, our minds have lingered on a different aspect of our history, mythology. The stories of the ancient gods and their misadventures have existed through generations of storytellers and audiences and have transformed into tales that we still know and love today. Now, these stories have shaped our dreams inspiring us to build something new, something that transcends the limits that we have always set upon ourselves. There's a lot of buzzwords Today, going on in here. Today, I am very proud to have the chance to show you a glimpse, to show you a teaser of this brand new game that we've been working on. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and have a great E3. Prince of Persia. <laughs> need help, they turn to the gods. When gods need help, they turn to you. <laughs> and monsters. <clears throat> 